gorgeous body. You looked truly really stunning today and took my breath away when I saw you walking down the aisle. I can't actually believe today has finally come. You have generally made me the happiest man on earth. As those S clubbers once sang, I've never had a dream come true till the day that I found you. And it is so true. You are my rock, my best friend, my soulmate, my happy ever after. So how did it all begin? One of our first trips together was to hire a canal boat for a few days in Stafford. As you can imagine, Pauline was by far the most glamorous on the canals. As you would expect, perfectly covered and coordinated from top to toe. On that trip, we also discovered our love for the Serrano and Red Bull. Gently cruising along the canals at three miles an hour, with a drink in hand, we properly looked the part. On one particular stretch of the canal, we found ourselves having to navigate past some boats that had moored up along the side. Clearly, this was the home for the folk living on the canal. Even at three miles an hour, we soon lost control and we ended up crashing into the parked up boat. As we heard the breaking glass and pottery, Pauline very helpfully gathered up the near empty bottle of De Serrano in our drinking glasses and quickly made off below deck out of sight. <laughs> leaving me to profusely apologise to the highly agitated lady who evidently we had just woken up and decided to give me the benefit of her wisdom. Since then, we have not looked back, sharing many amazing memories together. I'm truly fortunate that Pauline likes a sport, which does make life so much simpler for me. I'm even more determined that I finally convinced Pauline that the greatest team in the world are Arsenal. <laughs> Pauline, you look after me and you take care of me. I cannot wait to spend the rest of my life with you. We've already shared so many amazing memories together and I can't wait to make so many more. So please, I'd like to raise a toast to my beautiful wife, Pauline. I call upon these persons here present. These persons here present. To witness that I, Adam. To witness that I, Adam. To take the heap, Pauline. To be my lawful wedded wife. To be my lawful wedded wife. Adam, today I promise to spend the rest of my life with you. To spend the rest of my life with you. I promise to love and respect you. I promise to love and respect you. Helping our love grow. Helping our love grow. By always being there. I always been there. To listen, comfort and support you. To listen, comfort and support you. As we journey through life together. As we journey through life together. Pauline, I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love. As a symbol of my love. My everlasting friendship. My everlasting friendship. And the promise of all my tomorrows. And the promise of all my tomorrows. Adam, I give you this ring. Adam, I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love. As a symbol of my love. My everlasting friendship. My everlasting friendship. And the promise of all my tomorrow. And the promise of all my tomorrow. I want to appreciate the most important person in my life. The person who has brought me into this world. The person who has always put me before herself. The person who would do anything for me. And the most hard-working person I know. She's there for me when I'm hurt. And she only wants the best for me, even if sometimes I don't show it. And really, I do love you more. And thank you for everything. You've always had my back no matter what. I love you. We were very proud of her. She's, she's absolutely excellent. She, I, I, I can't even say anything bad about her or Adam. Do you know what? I, I would love to say something bad about Arsenal. <laughs> can't even say anything about Arsenal when the top of the league, you know what I mean? But when she first met Adam, that's we knew that was her. She'd met a soulmate. Um, and I would just like you to raise your glass and have a toast to the, the beautiful bride and the no too bad looking groom. Adam, ladies and gentlemen, 
Det bräder ner grund. So the first time that we met Pauline and Adam together was in London at the Gin Institute on Portobello Road. You get to make your own gin and take it home with you. It's a real gin lover's day. It was a really memorable afternoon and evening. In fact, I remember it so well because, Pauline, on a gin experience in a gin distillery, you were drinking vodka. <laughs> I used to drink in a pub called the White Swan in Dunstable frequently. And the landlord would occasionally say, you lads are 18, aren't you? I said, yeah, of course, of course. Then one evening, we were there. It was Adam's 18th birthday. <laughs> and we had booked a saucy kissogram for him in the guise of a nun. She came in, sat on his lap, and read out his birthday poem, wishing him a happy 18th. So our cover was blown. But it was too late. He then got stood up against the bar and the nun proceeded to give him a gentle but humiliating spanking. I'm not sure he ever forgave us. Anyway, Pauline, if Adam should ever misbehave, just so happens, Got a nun's outfit there, so you know what to do. Pauline, you don't need me to tell you but you could not be choosing to spend your life with a better man. The level of devotion and love that Adam has for you is just so clear to everybody who knows you, as is the strength of your love and devotion to Adam. I'd just like to say, I want to wish you, as do I and everybody here, a wonderful day and a long and happy life together. And if you'd like to raise your glasses. So Adam will pull me. Cheers. Thank you.